Hi. Hi. Okay. And usually number two? Way. Way. Okay. Number three? Relax and? Easy going. Easy going. Easy going. They can get? Number four? Nervous. Nervous. All right. Good. Number five. Looking after? Young. Young or elderly? Young. 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 Number five. Number five is... Okay. I guess more. When they are... They are so quite clever and... Number six is kind. So number seven, slow oh. down and help me. Yes, uh, elderly. Yes, yes. Number five is it's between elderly yeah. and young actually. But sometimes so, you can get. Okay, number five is young. Number seven is elderly. Okay. Number eight is hard. Working. Oh, okay, did you all get the answers? Yes. What page shall we study at the moment? Page 8. Discussion of last last week's. This is not last week's, the last two weeks. Eh, last week's uh, homework. Okay, for those who just joined the lesson, please fill in the attendance. Next one is grammar, present simple and present continuous. G. Identical twins. Okay. Okay. okay, I, what's the answer for number, number one? I, 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 uh, I think, that's oh, all, it's just simple present only. I think, number two, they, not having eh, definitely not I, having. So they have, alright, number three, my sisters, Katie and Sandy, uh, are identical twins and my parents and I plural do eh? not know yes do not know which twin is um, which most of the time in fact they uh, there's a word always there so it must be continuous in fact they are always playing, playing tricks on us which is not funny, okay? They where they they wearing. wearing they are wearing or they wear on you because this one is every morning. So <laughs> Wait, uh, give me a second. So I need to break it. This is the first baby. Cute baby. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Okay. Sorry for the distraction. All right. So this one it says it every morning, so it's habitual thing. So they wear different clothes every morning, so we know who is who. But then day number seven. Sometimes change. Yes, yeah, simple only. Sometimes change clothes. All right. Katie, number eight. Spence. Spence. Spence with S, okay? With S, eh? Katie Spence. But Sandy. Hates. Hates reading. Hates. She often complains about it saying, Katie. Re this Re one is doing. Continuous, Me. yes. Katie is reading again. Oh, okay. Okay. So let's take a look. Uh, last week, the writing exercise is also taken from the textbook, you know. Okay, it's on page 14. Okay. Page 14. Wait now. Uh. Let me okay. Wait, wait, where is my page 14? Okay, this is my page 14. Okay, so last week, 
Uh, are you on page 14 right now? Class? Yes. Okay. Yes. So we have I guess so. yes, abbreviations. There's the same thing eh? I put in the Google form actually. Okay. So I would like to focus on the exam task, the writing part. I'll show you some of your answers. Look at the question here. Eh? The question asks you, uh, window, okay, this one. Okay, the question asks you, you, you have done very well at school this year and your parents want to have a party to celebrate. So what kind of party here? Is it birthday party? Yes or no? Is this no. a birthday party? No. It's no. A this one is to celebrate. You have done very well. That means maybe you get uh, many A's. Okay. But why when I get the answers, most of the answers are about birthday parties. Why are? Huh? Let me show you something. I don't know. I think, I think it's a sign of your birthday party or something. No, the question clearly said that it's not a birthday party. The sample is a birthday party. I know yeah. I give the yeah. sample, right? Uncle Sam, how are you? We are having a surprise party, right? That one is a sample, kan? There's a day, day. All the families are coming. I hope you can come to let me know, but but the, the question didn't ask you uh, you didn't can you see the the the, the responses here yes. yes can you yes. see the responses here yes. okay the all the red color answers here are all talking about birthday there are so many of you talking Sweet. about birthday Birthday, birthday, surprise party, birthday, birthday, birthday. See, birthday again, birthday. <laughs> Why are ah? you didn't read the question, is it? Okay, so the blue ones are correct. They talk about uh, having, uh, celebrating something uh, about re related to school, eh? See her. Hi Sharia, how are you? I hope you are fine. My parents organized a party. It should be on. On Saturday. I'm reading this one, eh? the purple one. On Saturday, 6th February. 6th of February because I've done very well at school and my parents want to celebrate. Uh, it's not clear. Some of my friends are coming too. If you want to come, let me know. Okay. Uh, this is okay. Uh, hi, uh, dear Andrew, how are you recently I'm inviting you to attend my party to se celebrate me for doing well at school this year? That This is part of the question. Lah. I wonder why the others have a surprise party. Ah? <laughs> you can't do surprise party for yourself. That's not a surprise. Lah. <laughs> okay, uh, this one is okay. I have already done very well at school. And my family wants to have a party to celebrate my good result in school this year. This one, birthday, birthday. Okay, this one, correct. The others, I don't know what kind of uh, invitation you are referring to. So next time, please, um, please read the uh, question carefully. Can you? You are form 3 right now. You shouldn't do this kind of mistake. Understand? Hello. Yes. Yes, right. This is very yes. You know, kalau in the real PT3 exam, once they had a birthday party je, tak jawab soalan kan? It's zero already. Huh. Even though you have all the details here, what time is it, where is the party, but this one is all about birthday. It's not answering the question. The question it's very simple. Uh, see how many of you talking about birthday party. I know I gave the example. The example is based on the textbook on page 14. 
But um, the question didn't ask you to <coughs> to do about uh, birthday party, okay? Alright. Uh, any questions? We are going to start a new unit today. No? No questions. No, no questions. Alright. Uh, please fill in your attendance for those who just joined the meeting. I only have 31 names. That means another 12 of you have not filled in the attendance yet. Is it kehadiran sekarang? Okay, now turn to page 17. New topic there. Okay. Look at the picture. What can you see from the picture? A giant burger. A giant burger. The biggest hamburger in the world. Yeah. The burger was grilled on a colossal. Okay, look at that. Eh? Uh, the burger was grilled on a colossal. Colossal means very, very huge. Besar sangat, terlalu besar. Okay, if you want to describe something that's too big, that the word big is not enough to describe the, uh, the size of it. Oh yeah, yes, we are on page 17. Okay, if you ha you have no word to say like big is besar, but you want to say that something like very, very big, you can use this word. It is colossal. Okay, colossal. Colossal custom. Custom ni dia buat khas lah. Charcoal grill made by Napoleon Gourmet Grills, Toronto, Canada. Okay. Uh, okay, so the next topic this week and next week is about food. Look at the next page. Okay, before we read the text, we are going to read the text about olive oil. Okay, if we don't have the text, uh, you all have your textbook, right? Okay, but I'm still going to show you on the screen so it's easier. For me to, uh, okay. Do number one before we read the text. Don't read the text yet. Do number one on page 18. Number one on page 18. How much do you know about olives? Where is olives in Malay? Malay language. Olives. Zaitun. Minyak zaitun. Yes, good. <laughs> Bazai. Zaitun. People have been growing olive trees for thousand years ago. Number two. Which all these three countries produce olive in the world? Spain, other Italy, Tunisia. Okay, what are the purposes of olive oil? The functions of olive oil? Do, do, do they attack people? To attack people? To make cleaning products? To fight religion? Which one do you think is the answer? And we now know exactly why olive oil is good because of olive growers. Ancient, ancient, ancient means uh, zaman dahulu kala. Rupa kala lah. Traditions and modern science. Okay, before we read the text, I want you to look at page 19 because there will be gaps here in the text. So while we read the text, we will uh, straight away do, uh, fill in the gaps with the words on page 19 here in exam task. Can you see that here? Yes. Anyone, everyone, no one, someone, better one by producing. Okay, so look, go through these words first. Since, sejak, for, through, sepanjang, until, hingga. Okay, there, this, this. What's the difference between there, this, this and those? Number six here. What's the difference? There, this, this and those. Ah. Mm. When yeah. I say there, there, there means... Yeah, mereka lah. Mereka. No, no, that one is they. P-H-E-Y. Oh, ah, yeah. that's what there. Arah. Arah. Uh, Arah to the center, right there. Okay, but if uh, I if I yeah. say this, this, see ni, and see ni, this, it will be like uh, this is my book. I tunjuk buku I, pasal I I show it to you. Uh, hey guys, this is my book. One book here. Understand? This one for singular. But 
If you are referring to something in plural, you use be here. These. So more than one. Imagine that I have five books in front of me. Okay? So I, 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 I tell you guys, these are my books. These are my books. Understand? Tapi kalau satu, I use this is my book. Did you see the difference? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, that, okay, this and this here, untuk di sini kan? Ah, ni tunjuk benda tu ada dekat dengan kita. But for that, tadi di sana. But if you say something, oh, there it is. Ah, tu kucing tu. There is a cat there. Ah, there is a cat there. There is, so singular. But if the thing that we are referring to is plural, we use here, those. Okay, we use those for plural, for example. Uh, uh, those are the stuff that I asked you to bring. Barang yang banyak lah, those are the stuff that I asked you to bring. Tapi kamu tunjuk dekat arah yang jauh. Jauh sikit lah. Understand eh? This untuk benda yang dekat. There and those untuk yang jauh. But the difference is the singular and plural. Okay. Uh, next, lightest, lowest, healthiest, smallest. What is lightest? Class, what is light? Ringan. Yes, light here is either lampu tu lampu. ataupun lampu. ringan. Tapi kat sini ringan lah. Sebab kalau lampu mana boleh ada EST. EST lightest means yang paling ringan. Okay, amounts, groups, lots, numbers, food, dish. Dish is more like lauk eh. Ah, hidangan lah. Diet, plate, give, offer, share and show. Okay, while we are reading, you look at page 19 to fit, uh, to fit the answers in the text. And oil for life, look at the word focus. Crush. Crush means... You crush the thing means that you hancur, hancurkan. Okay. Okay, harvest. Harvest. To pick and collect crops. Crops ni tanaman. So harvest is menuai. Okay. Bila dah tanam something, you harvest the thing, the crops, tanaman tu. Fresh. Improve to make something better. Okay, let's start. Maria Alcala of Madrid speaks for many Mediterranean people. Are you there? Are you are you listening to me? Yes. yes. Okay, because it's too quiet. I'm scared I'm just alone here. <laughs> okay. Maria Alcala of Madrid speaks for many Mediterranean people when she says that a meal without olive oil is boring. So, makanan, lauk, hidangan tanpa minyak zaitun is boring, dia kata. Okay, there's a gap here. Knows when the Mediterraneans, Mediterraneans is orang yang belah sana, Mediterranean first fell in love with olives because it was before people wrote and kept records. Okay, so number one, what do you think is the answer? Anyone, everyone, no one, someone? Knows tahu when the Mediterraneans fell in love with olives. They jatuh cinta dengan olive because it was before, sebelum dah lama lagi, sebelum people wrote and kept records. So, anyone knows? Everyone knows? No one knows? Or someone knows? Which one? No one knows. Yes, good. No one knows. Okay. So, because here eh, people, before people wrote, kept, wrote and kept records, maksudnya time tu tak ada orang lagi yang tulis sejarah. No one is writing the history. So, no one knows, okay. However, there is some evidence, okay, bukti that people began growing olive trees around the Mediterranean Sea approximately, approximately means uh, dalam kiraan anggaran 6,000 years ago. So, 
at least 36,000 years ago, the Mediterranean countries still better one bioproduce. 99% of the world's olive oil with Spain, Spanish, eh? Spain being the world's biggest producer. So, producer, the word here is pro? Produce. Produce. The Mediterranean countries still produce D. Are you referring to page 19 or not? Yes, I, I hope you are. Teacher? Yes. Yes. Uh, what means Mediterranean? Um, Mediterranean is orang bahagian. Kita refer dia dekat orang bahagian sana ni lah. Spanyol, Tunisia, Italy. Uh, understand? Macam kalau kita, uh, they call Asian or Southeast Asian. Faham tak? Belas, uh, Singapore, Malaysia. Kalau yang belah Arab tu, they call it Middle East countries. The Middle Eastern. Itu itu macam gelaran lah. Gelaran untuk orang-orang dia. Understand or not? Or you want me to show you maps? Okay. Understand. Ah, uh, Dia macam gelaran lah. Mediterranean people is referring to people yang live in that area. Spain, Italy, Tunisia. Like, if you live in belah bagian Arab sana tu, United Arab Emirates and all, they call you Middle Eastern. The Middle Eastern people. Kalau kita Asian ni, dia panggil South East Asian. Uh, okay, nama panggilan kita lah, gelaran kita ikut tempat tu. Okay. Uh, from ancient times, okay, from ancient time, ancient ni zaman perubah kala dulu-dulu. Okay, so what is the answer for number three? Sejak, since, for, true or until? Very obvious ya. Yeah. Dulu until. hingga kini. Un until. Until today. Until. The basic process, good. The basic process of producing the oil is the same. First, farmers crush the olives. Then, they take the liquid, cecair, and separate the oil from the water. Separate means they pisahkan oil from the water. Okay, many olive growers keep, keep, simpan eh, their ancient traditions, eh, sorry, keep here mengekalkan. They keep their ancient traditions and still harvest the olives by hand, in hand, on hand, or with hand. With hand. Ah. With or by? By, by. By hand by. or with hand? By hand. By, by. by hand, yes. By hand. Okay. Still harvest the olives by hand. We harvest in the traditional way, says Don Celso, an olive farmer from Tuscany, Italy. It is less expensive to do it with machines. But it is more a social thing. Okay, social thing. Maksudnya dia nak pekerja dia lah buat. 20 people come to help with the harvest and we pay them in oil. See, they don't pay them with money. They pay them with oil. That that olive oil. Ancient civilizations. Where civilizations? Tamadun. Civilizations is tamadun. Do you know what is the word tamadun? You all know kan? You learn in history? Yes. Yeah, okay, good. Tamadun and Adaban, eh, you know that. Ancient civilization use olive oil as an on or off money and medicine. Sebagai money and medicine. As. Yes, as money and medicine, ubatan. They even use it during war. Okay, waktu perang. They would heat it up, panaskan, and drop it down on the enemy. Ah, dia akan jadikan sebagai senjata. Dia tuang dekat enemy, minyak panas. Alright, number six. Their days, these days, these days, or those days. This one is plural here. So, it is still used. Still used. Masih digunakan in religious ceremonies. These days. These Good. Days. These days, hari ini, sekarang eh. These days, sekarang ni, it is still used. Masih digunakan in religious ceremonies. 
majlis keagamaan as it was in ancient times it is also great for making fish and cheeses stay cheese stay fresh there are even olive oil lamps okay lampu olive oil and olive oil soaps sabun okay next one Where is the text? One important study showed that Mediterranean people have the what here? Hearts in the Western world. Hati apa? Hati pula. Heart here is jantung eh. Heart here is jantung. Jantung yang paling apa? If we're talking about lightest, lowest, healthiest or smallest? Healthiest. Yeah. Obviously healthiest lah takkan kamu nak baca kat smallest or lightest kita tak boleh nak timbang jantung tu Okay so because they consume because they eat a lot of olive oil They have the healthiest hearts eh jantung paling sehat in the western world Okay this is partly to do with frequently frequently selalu kerap using olive oil Other studies have shown that using olive oil can help to protect people melindungi from some types of diseases penyakit the world is beginning to understand the advantages of using what is advantages again class what is advantage kebaikan kebaikan kelebihan if i say disadvantages Okay. Okay. So advantages and disadvantages, very good. Those we need to understand the advantages of using olive oil and it isn't an unusual thing to see on dinner tables outside the Mediterranean region anymore. So kalau kamu pergi makan dekat dia punya kedai, kedai makan dia mesti ada a bottle of olive oil on the table sebab dia akan letak dalam semua makanan dia. Okay? Okay, the olive oil macam kamu lah letak kicap kan? Mesti ada kicap kan makan. So these people they must have olive oil. The olive oil producing countries now sell large number eight amounts, groups, lots and numbers. Large of what? Of olive oil to, to countries in Europe, Asia, Africa and North and South America. Which one? Large amount, large group, large lots or large numbers? Amount? Amount? Yes. Oh. Large amounts of olive oil. Okay. Olive oil improves the lives of people everywhere when it is part of a well-balanced What is it? Well-balanced food, dish, diet or plate? Diet. Seimbang diet. Seimbang diet lah. Well-balanced diet. Ancient people knew about its benefits and modern science has confirmed them. Okay, luckily the Mediterranean people are happy to secret yes. what you do with secret. Yes, yes, yes. secret with the world. Okay, any question about the text? No. no. Okay, I want you to go back to A now. Go to A, page 18 and try to answer number one, two, three and four. There. Just now we haven't answered it yet. We just uh, okay forty eight for those who just come in. Siapa yang baru join? What did you tengah mengajar tadi? Please fill in the attendance. Another six of you yang baru masuk ni tak 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 antar nama lagi. Okay. So do A now. Um, okay. Dah. Not yet. Okay, dah eh? Oh yo, <laughs> very quick, that's it. Okay, good. Okay, uh, so people be, have been growing olive trees for how many years? 6,000 years. 6,000. 6,000 years, eh? it's on the first page. Uh, first paragraph, sorry, first paragraph. Okay, which country produces the most and paling banyak sekali olive oil in the world? Mm. Spain. 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 Good. Uh, number three, they use olive oil to? 
attack people. Attack people. Attack people. Yes, attack people. And number four. Order. How do we know? They are good. True. Uh, ancient tradition. We now, we now know. Oh, modern, modern science. Modern science. Modern science. It, let's say, like, it is proven by modern science that olive oil is very good for our health. All right, look at D now. D. Okay. Find the words 1 to 5 in the text and match them to their definitions A to E. Evidence, process, liquid, civilization, and disease. I, I think this one is easy. All right, what is evidence? C. We are on page 19, eh? Page 19, what is evidence? C, reasons for believing that something is or isn't true. Yes, reasons, bukti lah sebab for believing untuk kita percaya something is or isn't true. Boleh? Eh, benda tu betul ke tidak? So, we need evidence. What about process? A series B. of things that you do to make something. Yes. B. Liquid. Something like water that you like can water. pour in. Something like water. Civilization. Tamadun. Peradaban. A large group, group of people with its own culture. Of people of people with people with culture. And disease is An illness. Something that makes illness. you very sick. Okay, illness is uh, penyakit lah. Okay, now choose the correct okay. words to complete the sentence in exercise C. Where is exercise C? Teacher on page 18. Oh. Ah, okay, okay. Page. What? On page 18. So, the answer is in E. Look at page 18. C. Read the complete sentence below. Look at each gap. Okay, that one tak payah. You just look at it. The butter and olive oil are both fats. But olive oil is a, is a white lunch, good, unhealthy or old? It's a, it's a good, good, good fat, fat. Good fat. And it's better what? Better, better on or for? On. Better for you because mm. it makes or it likes, it protects or it healthy. It protects. Protects your body from, from what? Dia melindungi daripada apa? Infection. infection. Yes, what is infection again? Infection is jang, jangkitan. Okay, so I read again eh. Butter and olive oil are both fats, but olive oil is a good fat and is better for you because it protects your body from infection, jangkitan. Okay, did you all get that? Later on, you have to do number yeah. uh, number number one lah. A, A, D and E only. E tu straight away yang teacher baca tadi C tu. Understand or not? A, D and E. A, D and E. E is the sentence in C. Tu je, you just copy the sentence, butter and olive oil. You don't have to copy lunch, good and healthy own. Right. Okay. Easy. Any question? Got it. Got it. Got it eh? Right. Uh, let's quickly turn to page 20. For those who just joined the lesson, please fill in the attendance. Okay. Okay, next one. <coughs> Let me turn. Okay, page 20. Look at the vocabulary. Why do we have to number the foods? Number the foods in the picture. It's okay lah. This one, um... 20A, you don't have to do it in your book. Eh? Let's just do this together. Did you see the pizza? Did you see the pizza? Class, where is the pizza? 
Look on your screen. Where's Ready? the pizza? I don't see. Yeah. It's on the top. The top most item. Okay. What about aubergine? Where is aubergine? What is aubergine number two? Aubergine. Where is aubergine in this picture? Anybody knows what is aubergine? I don't have any idea what is that. <laughs> Look at the picture still. Which one that you don't know? What is the name of it? I don't know what is aubergine. It's a it's a fruit. Aubergine. Okay, it's okay. We leave that first. What about eggs? Here. Eggs are protein side. Okay, here is the eggs. Okay. What about wheat? It's a down. Down. Which one? One or two? One. two? This one, eh? Second item from the left. This is wheat. Where is wheat? Where is wheat? Where is wheat? Gun? Gandom. Oh, gandom. <laughs> wheat is no. gandom. Okay. The rice that you eat, the oat. Okay, anything lah, tepung. Okay, broccoli. Yeah, I hope you all know which one is broccoli. Of course, broccoli is <laughs> tree. Tree, tree. Sweet corn. Sweet corn. Okay, rice here. Are rice and wheat the same thing or not? Rice and wheat. Are they the same thing? Yes. Uh, they are not the same thing, but yes, rice come from wheat. Okay, cupcake. This one, cupcake, chicken, and croissant. Yes, you all know this, right? Croissant. So aubergine. This aubergine is something like eggplant. Eggplant. Hello. Aubergine is eggplant. So this one, eggplant is actually uh, terung yang bulat tu. Aubergine is terung yang panjang. Mm. Uh, okay, I don't have to do that lah later. I want you to do this one, B, copy and complete the table with the words from exercise A. So all these words, 1 until 10, you masukkan. Are they grains and cereals? Grains and cereals? Are they fruit and vegetables? Protein and dairy? Dairy means tenusu eh. Anything yang tenusu. Sugar and fat. Okay, gula dan lemak. So, you masukkan makanan ya. All this uh, thing in the category. Can you do that? That one is your homework eh. We discuss in uh, next class. Okay, next. Circle okay. the odd ones out. The odd, what is the meaning of odd? Odd and even. Even genap. Even number. Odd number, nombor? Ganjil. Ah. So odd means yang ganjil. Okay. Remember that. Even number is nombor genap. Odd number is nombor ganjil. So when they say odd once out, yang mana yang ganjil? Circle it. Ganjil means they are they don't belong in the, in the same group. For example here, thirsty, hungry, bread. Of course lah, bread kan? Apa kena mengena dengan thirsty and hungry? Okay, so we have dessert. Starter is starter? Ni bukan starter motor tau. <laughs> starter, you know when you eat meals, when you eat meals, uh, we have starter and then main course. After main course, we have dessert. Do you know that? Starter ni macam pembuka selera. You okay or not? Understand? Yeah. Yeah. Kitchen, chop. What is chop? Chop apa chop? Chicken chop. Chicken chop. Chop, chop, Memang chop. Memang chop the vegetables into few pieces. Chop means? Potong. Memotong. Potong, chop. Dah dengar chopping board tak? Chopping board tu, papa pun potong. Yang mak kamu pakai in the kitchen tu. That is chopping board. So chop is potong. Chop the chicken into 14 pieces for example. And then peel, kupas, grill, boil, didi, meat, 
bite breakfast chew horrible chew means kunyah eh um, horrible teruklah delicious mix campur fridge peti ais jug bowl fry fry is goreng stir is gaul eh kacau stir is gaul kacau and knife is pisau okay so which one is the circle one dalam kumpulan dia you circle it, the odd ones out okay understand and complete the sentences with some of the words from exercise C. Okay, so untuk D, jawapan dia, the answers are here. Tak payah fikir panjang-panjang. Okay. Uh, this one you do it on your own. And last one. Hmm. Oh, last one, hamburger. This one tak payahlah. We do this together nak. This one tak payah buat dalam buku. We do this together. Alright, number one. The white Hamburger is one of the most popular foods in the world but where did it come from? Okay, which one? The horrible, the delicious, the breakfast. Delicious. delicious. Yes, delicious hamburger. Yang sedap lah. Okay, because it's very popular. One theory is that about 800 years ago, Mongolian soldiers, Askar, yeah, who didn't have what here, or cookers, tempat masak, put meat under their saddles while they rode their horses to make it soft. So what here? Mm. Number two, didn't have what? Meat, food, fridge. Mm. Kat sini cookers tempat masak. So pasangan dia? Fridge. Fridge. Mm. Dia ada peti air. So dia letak daging dia dekat kuda dia to make it soft. In the evening, they ate the meat without cooking it. So dia makan terus, oh tak masak pun. Another story is that immigrants to America from the city of Hamburg in Germany brought their Hamburg stick with them. A type of what? What is stick? Stick. Stop me. A type of what? Fried, peel or stirred? Fried meat, peel meat or stirred meat? Takkanlah stirred pula, takkanlah peel. Pil apa tadi? Pil? Pil is kupas. So, fried. Fried meat in what? In a bowl? In bread? Or in kitchen? Bread. So, bread, yes. Baru nak tanya. Burger dalam apa? Bread eh? Or perhaps Otto goes from Hamburg made the first hamburger. Otto chewed bit or mix meat with mix eh? Dicampurkan eh? Meat with what? Breakfast eggs or starter? They campur meat with? Egg. Eggs. Fried it, goreng and put it between bread and solid to young, hard working and so Dijual dekat orang ya? Sailors ya? Hungry. Hungry sailors for their dessert lunch? Dessert or lunch? Burger for this lunch. and lunch. lunch. Oh yeah. Lunch. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's all. So your homework for this page is this eh? B, C and E. Any questions? No. So, yes. No eh? So I, I'll, I'll go through A. Yes. Yes. Who's that? I couldn't hear you. Please speak louder. Repeat homework. Oh, repeat homework. Okay, page eighteen and nineteen. A. A two, one, two, three, four. Okay. D one, two, three, four, five. And E, E is only the sentence. Listen or not, E is one sentence there. Okay. Just copy the sentence with the answers. Tak payah salin 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, E. And then page 20, you do B, P, and D. See? Okay. Okay. Look at the chat room. Okay. Are you clear with the 
a homework? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Page 18 to 19, A, D and E. Page 20, B, C and D. Okay, we have 47 now but I only have... Oh, okay. Why do I have 49? That means some of you have left the class. Ada yang keluar masuk ni internet tak kuat kot. Okay, any question? Uh, if I not, happy Chinese something. New Year for those who celebrate Chinese New Year. And happy holiday for the others. Okay? Happy holiday to you. Happy holiday to you.